Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this uh, dirty, really heavy respace. But before I go on with the tutorial, I have a few announcements. So first, here's a uh, shout out to my friend Trialist. Uh, he requested a uh, shout out from my Discord server. If you haven't joined my Casanova Discord crib Discord server, then I'll leave a link in the description. Pretty fun server. I post a YouTube announcement and polls for the next videos. So uh, if you guys want to join, then link will be there. Also, if the audio on Ableton is like different than usual, it's because I got a newer version of Ableton and it's like uh, I had to change all my audio settings and stuff. So the audio might sound different, but I'll try to fix that in the next video. So yeah, here's what the uh, re sounds like. It's a really heavy respace. When I tend to try to make respaces, they just tend to sound really messy, but I kind of like that. So uh, let's dive into the uh, serum patch first. It's basically one sine wave with another sine wave, which is a little bit detuned. So it makes a little bit of like a volume automation. If I take away these uh, effects and just like the other stuff here, you can hear. Ooh, take away the sub. You can hear a little bit of a volume automation. And then what I did with that is I added some noise on top of it. So it'll kind of do like a uh, volume automation with the noise. But it's not really uh, hearable until you put a lot of distortion and compression, saturation, stuff like that. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. First, I added a uh, distortion. And, and then instantly you get that, you know, famous modern race sound. So. Then I added a multiband compressor. Should probably take away some of these mids. See, I'm doing changes even in the tutorial. <laughs> All right, next I added a pitch bend, as you can see by this automation here. Very simple stuff. And then here comes the uh, audio effects. There isn't that many audio effects that I put this time, just because I didn't want it to really process it too much so uh first i added an eq eq with a notch to get rid of those uh bad frequencies because these frequencies don't really need to be in a respace so i turned those down next i added an ott so then it got a little bit quiet so I added also a uh, Pro Q3, which I recently got. I really like this equalizer because like you can do a lot of precise EQing and it's a lot more, uh, what did I say, this responsive or something? And it's more accurate, in my opinion. And you can add more bands than the Ableton stock EQ. Then I added a Pro L. Just to limit it and make it a, a bit louder. Next, a uh, phaser. Which you don't hear that much, only because I turned the uh, dry wet like to six percent. So, uh, yeah, full percent just sounds weird. So I just put it a little bit, a little bit's fine. Really crunchy at the moment too. Next, I added a uh, mid side EQ. So what I did here is that for the mids, I just took away a bit of the high end, and the uh, stereo is taking most of the high end. So the uh, mids and low end well not really low end because i high pass it at the end but the mids is like mono and then everything else is stereo so uh yeah it's cool then i just high passed it make room for this as sub preset and then a dimension expander to make it more stereo and wet all right and then it's just the uh, sub preset very simple stuff sine wave automation you know the drill <laughs> and the uh, famous uh, eq bell and then the uh, saturator so this is what it sounds like all of it pretty cool respace might add into my sample pack really cool so uh yeah that's i know this is a bit of a short tutorial but uh if you liked it uh, please leave a comment and a like and subscribe i really mean it a lot we're trying to get to 400 subscribers 
We're a really cool milestone. Maybe if we reach that, we'll be able to get to 420 subscribers. I'll do a subscriber special then. But yeah, it's basically it for the video. So uh, see you guys later.